So during Diwali cleaning, I found a very old retro barcode scanner that was lying in here. Do you know that barcode is an enhanced version of uh, Morse code? These barcode scanners are used by shop owners, billing departments, and they are very reliable and they are super duper fast. They are made for specific purpose only that is scanning the barcode and generating the bill. So there is a specific software that you have to buy to generate the bill for us but i didn't had any so i decided to make one using python but few questions was there like how to use the scanner with my laptop and how to read values with python and what format it will provide me the data so in today's video we will be exploring this amazing device and creating an amazing project using python so let's begin okay so before diving into the coding part let's learn a little theory about barcode so it's a way of visually representing data in machine readable form. 1D barcodes or initial version called the linear barcodes, uh, they are scanned by optical scanner called barcode scanner. The advanced version is a 2D barcode that is in a form of metric. They have special 2D scanners for that. In 1951, barcode was invented by Norman Joseph and Bernard Silver. So 2021 minus 1951, that is around 71 years ago and yes barcode is an extended version of morse code it is based on morse code uh, when the morse code is extended to thick and thin bars it gives us barcode it took 20 years for the invention to become a commercially successful product lasers provide non-contact device allowing a large depth of field they capture data by amazing the laser light reflected back from the barcode then the electrical output to the computer is sent via decoder and a cable so the decoder recognizes the type of barcode translates the bar and space content to digital data and then transmits the data to human readable format if you want to read more i will give the links you can go into depth into my laptop and opened device manager but nothing was visible so this is a scanner so this is on this is not working it will only work we'll have something and you show the barcode to him and it will this is all but where the data where the output is going the old bit zoomed in and let's scan it again so here here and scan we got the whole number which was stripe mode distance let's try some more of book homo feels like a star wars movie Now let's code. So first uh, we will try to get the input from the scanner because scanner is acting like a keyboard so we can directly get the input. So this input we are trying to print that input what's the value it is printing. So it failed because it is saying int error. Uh, yeah because the scanner is giving the string but we are scanning int. So we I just uh, corrected that and it's working fine now. Let's create a dictionary in which we have all the products so dictionary is the best way to store and we can have uh, the barcode and the name like barcode is the key and name is the value and if the item is matched to the value we will write a message that this product is found if it is not found then we will say that this product is not present in the list that we had so it's it was keys and it it should now work and i am i have also added break in the mid so that if the item is found in the starting then it will not go through all the elements it will stop the first it will save the resources let's uh, add more details like name and price of the product and i am using a dictionary for that also so now uh, for each barcode we can save the name and price let's try it out okay uh, it is item not found we'll just copy that item and create a dictionary similar in similar manner for that also and uh, we can add more products yeah it, it's working it's displaying all the values of that and this new book and the, the practice the book that i displayed it was not there so it displayed that it's not present so i have added that and let's add some more uh, it's a little boring to enter each value and after running the code let's uh, put that in a loop and just add all of that in a bunk, bulk in a bulk so if the user enters exit if the user types exit then the shopping will over for that person and let's create our inventory for every barcode we will have the name and price and uh, let's tidy it a little bit so that more items can be added 
okay now i have added a mouse so a cream box was there so i added that also so i think we have enough products now uh, we can run it it is working fine it is telling the name and price of all the product that we are scanning which is a nice achievement and uh, all the products are visible but how to exit like no one will type exit to exit the code it's it's so uh, non techy and so uh, let's have a total bill this will save the prices of all the things that we have scanned and in the end will give us the total price that spent that we have spent so for now let's just print the values and now we are adding the price to the total bill variable and when all the items are added when when the user will exit the code or when when the shopping is completed it will show the price that okay this this is your total bill total amount and uh, we can directly use it and i am also using item as items dot key so that the item will have name and that the exit process is not good so i am trying a new thing so let's use this book whenever this book is displayed to the system it will it will stop the processing it will say that your shopping is complete so this book or this code can be anywhere uh, it can be on the uh, card of that uh, customer or it can be that of the employer and he can directly show his card and it will stop so to stop the shopping i can just show the book if the id is of that book which i displayed then stop the shopping and we are just adding more products it is saving all of that now let's stop the shopping okay it's it's stop shopping is stopped uh, the amount is displayed so let's try it one more time and i will add all the items and let's stop the shopping now so shopping is done so there is variable and code you can put anything that you want in this and code and any product can be used to stop and now let's print the bill for the customer and as you know that item is a dictionary that is just containing the name and price uh, i will put uh, i will append that in a list and at the end of the shopping i will just print everything that whatever the person has shopped till now to get the id of each object uh, i will use enumerate so i comma item is giving me the id so shopping started and now the shopping ended after displaying this book so uh, there was a error i forgot to place the brackets now it should work face palm moment and let's stop the shopping and it is displaying everything so the price list or the bill is displayed displaying the uh, item name and the price for it let's add uh, one one uh, i plus one so that it will start from one two three as per the item name not the pythonic way of zero starting array from zero so it is working perfectly now and we have the item one two three let's stop the computer and bye bye if you enjoyed the product hit the like button and if you have any doubt or suggestion for the next project you want to see you can just mention that in comments and we will pick that for the next video that's it bye bye